Hey everybody and welcome back to So Blessed Pops. We got in our New York Comic Con order along with some other stuff that we picked up on whatnot. So let's dive into it. Let's have some fun. Hey buddy, this is Larry. This is Ryan. This is Zoe. This is Trent. And this it's is So Blessed Pops. All right, so here we are. Uh, New York Comic Con stuff has all came in. Uh, we had two separate orders. Um, we got some uh, whatnot pickup as well. Uh, a couple different whatnot pickups. Um, so super excited about what we got. So let's get to the biggest portion, which is going to be our New York Comic Con uh, pickups. Now from this con, there was only uh, two pops uh, that we kind of wanted uh, that we were going to go after. Uh, there's still one more out there, which was a con exclusive, which we're going to kind of wait and see how it goes on. And that would be the V Friends pop that came out this year. Um, it was limited to a thousand. So we're going to see if we can get that eventually. Uh, we're starting to get into V Friends, uh, like their message behind everything. And this is a really cool new collectible that's out there. Um, so besides that, there's only two we got we're after and we got both of them. So starting off already had this packaged up because this came on in a separate order but we do have boom Deborah from Dragon Ball Z uh, had to get this one for the Dragon Ball collection uh, I know I, there's a lot of people going hey why are they making such older characters and stuff like that but I absolutely love the Boo Saga um, and super excited to get this one uh, we did see this in store uh, the same day. I mean, it's got some box damage on it, but super happy about it. Then the next one we were super excited about was, boom, the Spider Demon Father from Demon Slayer. Uh, super excited when I saw this. Um, and it's another one where people are like, hey, this is an old line. Um, why are they still making new pops for it but i'm not going to complain i absolutely love uh this saga in it so absolutely love this one so we're still on the hunt for the the chase mother mo <laughs> spider demon mother so and i'm hoping they get the rest of them out there so the next we picked up was everybody was kind of talking about this was going to be a hit and miss um we'll see as far as value whatnot we kind of just picked it up because a lot of friends were gonna go for it and we thought it would sell out quickly and we picked up the headless freddy funko right here um i do like how this has got its own separate box kind of designed to it it's all black which is one thing i kind of really hope funko would do is for con exclusives and stuff like that is change up the box not just a normal box but have an exclusive box along with their obviously they have this new sticker so this one, uh, we did pick it up just in case somebody needed it. So I don't really collect Freddy's. So we're not going to be keeping this one per se. Uh, the next we picked up for our good friend, Pop House with Animal, uh, just in case he wasn't able to get it. But we did pick up an animal. Now, this is really cool. Go check out Pop House with Animal's video. He actually opens it up. One thing I didn't notice, which I'm sure a lot of people didn't, is that drum set is actually separate from him it's not part of his mold so we did pick up an animal then next we picked up uh, another one for pop house just in case um we did pick up Coraline for his girls so can't complain with that boom Coraline super cute with the uh dowsing rods right there so, another one, and that's the big thing, is with a lot of these cons, a lot of friends help each other out in case uh, you can't always get what you want. The next, we have uh, the Toy Tokyo exclusive Bleach Pop, which I know absolutely nothing about this character, or nothing about Bleach, but it was another one where we went and picked it up. Uh, we did pick it up off Toy Tokyo, or off of Funko instead of Toy Tokyo, um, but... I was shocked that it came with a Toy Tokyo sticker because I know when I got the Ninja Turtles uh, as Power Rangers, 
If you order from Toy Tokyo, it came with the Toy Tokyo sticker, but if you ordered it from Funko, it came with the Funko shared sticker. So there we go. So that was our New York Comic Con haul. Like I said, the first ones we were after we got was Deborah and the Spider Demon Father. So we're happy about that and we we're able to help out some other people as well. So this next, um, I'm going to show these off because we ended up, we got some friends uh, on whatnot that do a lot of different types of cards. Um, lately we've been buying uh, less Dragon Ball and more Demon Slayer cards. But um, I was on one whatnot site and the guy was doing slabs. And I did pick up a Gem Mint 10 CGC uh, Go Tanks right there. Go Tanks is my absolute favorite Dragon Ball character. So when I picked this up for, a, I want to say probably the same price, if not cheaper, than what it costs to get a card slabbed and graded. So there's that. And then we have another friend uh, who, this is a new product that we've seen out there. Um, it's actually like $9 and you get a pre-slab card. The only difference is this isn't graded. It is slabbed though. But we did end up getting a Go Tanks as well. Uh, these are all mystery bags and how these worked it was they had a deal buy a box get a free slab so out of all of the slabs we ended up picking the right one i was super excited now you bring you all to that because on whatnot our good friend big dog dave um was doing a whatnot uh, mystery box auction um wasn't a lot of people in there uh, we ended up going in in on a few boxes and we ended up picking up two boxes and then we also picked up a pop afterwards. So, and that pop I picked up afterwards, which was on the big wall, was none other than the Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Um, and this would be the AAA anime exclusive. I was super excited. Now, I already have one sitting right there, but I could not pass up getting another one. He is my favorite character, and I thought. Why not? He gave me a great deal on it. So let's take him out of box. And now I can have one out of box. Now the cool thing is, I kind of weird, is that they call it the Super Saiyan Go Tanks. When this is actually Super Saiyan 3. And you can tell just by the hair. But not going to complain. And it goes so well with the card that we picked up. So I'll be trying to figure out a way to display these together. And absolutely love it. Love that figure. And if you want to go regular Super Saiyan Go Tanks, he's just there. His hair is just up like a normal Super Saiyan. So, not going to complain. Now, I'm going to show you what we got from his his mystery boxes. Um, I think these were $10 a piece. Or uh, maybe they may have been like $15 or $14, something like that. But we ended up getting, and I let uh, Bradley and Ryan pick out their numbers, and Bradley picked out this one right here, and he got the Flot Alien du as Doug, which I think we may have had this at one point. Um, if not, we may have had the regular one, but now we have the Flock one, Target exclusive. Super cool. Bradley was super excited about that one. And then Ryan, his number, he got this one which I know we've had in the past um, helping out a friend but he was still excited to get it we have Safari Deadpool which I was so shocked to see the value on this was still at about $20 uh, the alien was I think it was at 11 but I think altogether we still got our money back not including the awesome deal we did afterwards so thank you big dog dave on your mystery box or it was a mystery envelope game but it was still pretty fun so that's all we got and he also did throw in let me find him which i thought was really cool so uh, when the stream started he asked if my boys would like these and we threw in some star wars helmet patches which is really cool. So they don't know about these. They knew about their pops, but they didn't know about these. And then he threw this in 
for me, which I absolutely love. Not quite sure where it came from, but, oh, it is a Funko product, but we have almost like a little mini resin uh, Venom right there. I absolutely love that. This. this is so cool. Almost reminds me of like a door, but there we go. So there we go, there's our New York haul and there is also our latest Whatnot haul. So hope you guys had fun. Comment down below what you guys like the most. And hey, we can't wait. I don't think we have too much more coming in lately, but um, I've had a few people reach out to me and I think it's about time we start doing a room tour. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is rearrange my turtle collection. Um, and that might be a live. I might go have fun, do a live. Uh, as we do some of this stuff. So comment down below. Would you like to see that? Would you like to be a part of that? So until next time, hope you guys have a great one. And so bless pops out.